the events that we're here to talk about today are incredibly difficult to relive. Your proud service as an election worker took a dramatic turn on the day that Rudy Giuliani publicized a video of you and your mother counting ballots on election night. President Trump, Rudy Giuliani, and others claimed on the basis of this video that you and your mother were somehow involved in a plot to kick out observers, bring suitcases of false ballots for Biden into the arena, and then run them through the machines multiple times. None of that was true, was it? None of it. Of Ruby Freeman and Shay Freeman Moss and one other gentleman, quite obviously surreptitiously passing around USB ports as if they're vials of heroin or cocaine. I mean, it's, our it's, it's obvious to anyone who's a criminal investigator or prosecutor, they are engaged in surreptitious illegal activity again that day. And that's a week ago, and they're still walking around Georgia lying. Should have been, they should have been, uh, should have been questioned already. Uh, their places of work, their homes should have been searched for evidence of ballots, for LS, uh, evidence of USB ports, for evidence of voter fraud. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard O'Jet here, and it's amazing how hollow these traitor lies are. That's one of the incredible points that's being rammed home by the January 6th hearings. It's amazing how childish, foolish, and absurd these morons are. And this story in particular is just incredible in highlighting this fact. The perpetrator of this lie is none other than America's has-been disgraced mayor turned bootlicking imbecile Rudy Giuliani. Rudy cooked up some stupid conspiracy theory about Georgia election workers sharing USB drives with one another as if they were, quote, vials of heroin or cocaine. Rudy was adamant that there was criminal conspiracy afoot, and he was a knight in shining armor saving Magaland from their leader's bigly embarrassing loss by exposing secret underground plots like he's the greatest thing since Sherlock Holmes. How did you become aware, how did you first become aware that Rudy Giuliani, the president's lawyer, was accusing you and your mother of a crime? They showed me a video on their computer. Um, it was just like a very short clip of us working at State Farm and it had someone on the video like talking um, over the video, just saying that we were doing things that we weren't supposed to do, just lying. Mr. Jones told me like they're attacking his uh, Facebook and I don't really use Facebook I have one so I went to the Facebook app and I'm just kind of panicky at this point because this has never happened to me and my mom is involved and I'm like her only child so I'm just asking him like well, where are the messages all I see is the feeds like how do you get to the messages and he said it's another icon on your phone that says messenger and I went to that icon, and it was just a lot of horrible things there. And those horrible things, did they include threats? Yes, a, a lot of threats, um, wishing death upon me. But like everything in Rudy's life since he's tied his wagon to Trump, his idle scheming flopped dead in its tracks. The alleged USB drives that were so threatening and maniacal were candy mints. Men's. Now, this could be quite humorous, but when this kind of childish BS is playing by grown men who are supposed to be leaders, these hollow ploys of political power have serious repercussions. The Georgia election workers were harassed with death threats from the lunatic MAGA maniacs. Remember, they hinge on every word these jackaloons vomit forward. We all saw the January 6th senseless violence and deadly hostility, so we know exactly what these MAGA criminals are capable of. But the hearings yesterday really focused on the impacts and the lengths these people will go to the beck and call of their masters. In one of the videos we just watched, Mr. Giuliani accused you and your mother of passing some sort of USB drive to each other. Uh, what was your mom actually handing you on that video? A ginger mint. Egged on by Trump and his cronies, the MAGA minions threatened death and violence on innocent volunteers and extended that to their families and even their children. These violent scoundrels know no bounds, and they obey their master's words no matter what. They are senseless animals who have already proved willing to hand over their country on the most baseless lie in history. 
And these so-called leaders have no shame. Trump and Giuliani are perfectly happy to have these election workers killed over a ginger mint if it works to promote their power grab. The January 6th hearings are bringing this horror show back into our memory and in a good way. And I'll tell you why. Because the country needs to come to firm grips with the reality of how evil Trump's narcissism runs and how thoroughly perverted the Republican Party has become. They have spiraled beyond corruption and contempt into pure evil. Every American needs to be glued to their screens when the hearings air. This is a most shameful part of our history, and it's hard to watch, but we study history for a purpose, to read the patterns of the best and the worst elements of human nature, and we can learn from that history. Donald Trump represents the worst elements of a nature that many humans are simply incapable of. And that's the lesson to be learned here. Leadership. What does leadership mean? Because fascist authoritarianism isn't leadership, it's dictatorship. And Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani, and the entire treason coalition is void of any semblance of leadership. They intend to pervert people to their own will, and they've done that with the captive MAGA crowd. They want to extend that to all of America, deleting this country in favor of their own kingship. Justice is the resolve we're looking for to come out of all this. And that means prosecution of the criminals that orchestrated this. And I say justice extends to the removal of every member of the treason caucus sitting in Congress who betrayed their oath and spit in the face of our nation. No such person should ever be endowed with public trust, period. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.